Okay, welcome to the Wilfredo walkthrough. I'm Traumanaut, and I'm here playing through the early game with Wilfredo. And while I do, I'll be talking on my thought processes and explaining some controls and UI stuff as we go. We're here for beginners or people looking for tips and tricks. So if we're here for you, please hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get started. Okay, so we've had a bit of a rough day yesterday. Today, we're hoping to make a haven out of this uh, this house. Temporary hideaway here it means we're planning to block and barricade the windows, uh, hoping to smash out these stairs and make this place accessible to living humans only. But before we get too into that, uh, let's do a quick tip today. Character panel hotkeys. So you've seen me press H and that brings up our health, but we've got these other panels up here, right? So here they are. H is for health, L is for skills, Z -Z -Z -Z, skills. Uh, then we've got J is for Ginformation. Ginformation, I, that's the only way I can remember it. J is info for some reason. Um, I, of course, is already taken. I for inventory. So you've seen my inventory layout on the sides, but if I press I, those are gone. Uh, in the interest of hotkeys, then we've got the last one here. P for protection. P for protection. Bring that up. All right, so let's get to it. We've got a lot of good finds from the other day. We did find ourselves a sledgehammer. All right, so we've got a lot of tiredness, a lot of tiredness. Uh, we will take a quick nap. You know what? Oh, shoot. We've eaten all of our food, I think. Uh, let's get that inventory back up. Yeah, we got, we got all kinds of pills and stuff, but not much in the way of straight food. Uh, don't sleep on the ground, not something I recommend. Okay, so if you're just joining us, welcome. If you're not just joining us, you know we've got about uh, five episodes or so now. Just about uh, how we've gone about doing Wilfredo so far. We uh, slept and uh, we slept in pretty late here, but uh, we're not too concerned about that just yet because we are a night, not a night owl, what's the word? We have cat's eyes, means we see better at night. We're going to quickly raid the neighbors for some food take a chance hop the fence see what's on the other side not a zombie perfect zoom in on wilfredo here check it out our boy's getting a beard it's coming in thicker so that's something they added is the hair your hair grows uh on your face and also on your head so eventually if we want to keep ourselves presentable we will need to find some uh, let's just eat some peas. Uh, we will we'll need to find some scissors, maybe a razor. Uh, take care of some of that stuff. We don't yet have a bowl, so we're just eating these straight out of the can. We all been there, Wilfredo. Don't worry about it. All right, still not enough, so we're gonna open up these beans. I think beans give you a massive amount of hunger. Oh, not massive, but they do have unhappiness. So let's just let's just open it all. Let's open the tomatoes. Uh, was it tomato sauce? Oh, just canned tomatoes. We can eat that. Sure. Hey, what else we got around here? Probably should have looked for a bowl first before I just started eating out of the cans. Bowls are great because they'll add some qualities to your food. It counts as prepared food, so a little less unhappiness. All right. So, uh, good. We're mostly fed. Let's, uh, let's get to it. We'll go back to base, see what we've got, see what we can do with it. Um, do you know how to make sheet ropes? So we're going to make a sheet rope today, and we're going to tie some clothes together, basically, to, uh, here we go, let's, let's do it all, craft them all. Uh, we're going to take these clothing to make some ropes, and we're going to hang these ropes out of a window. You can see we've already uh, put some curtains up on those windows, so zombies cannot see in, and they cannot see our light shining through either. Of course, if we need to, we can pull those curtains up, and then we will, oh... Did I hear somebody? Maybe not, maybe not. We can pull the curtains up if we need to, just to peek outside. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, I will attach a sheet rope. Oops, attach a sheet rope over here. Uh, we've got nails, we've got the club hammer, and we've got... Where did that rope go? Where did that rope go? Where did that rope go? Are you kidding me? Oh, gosh, it's right in front of me. Okay, we're good. Uh, add escape rope. Boom. Okay, so here's how it works. Hold E. And it's, it's terrifying. My heart right there, my heart jumped. Um, because I thought he was just going to swing out and hit the ground. But no, the animation I think is a little wonky, but we can hold E to get out and hold E to climb it again. And of course, we can still tap E to close or open the window. So why do we want that? Well, let's see. How many ropes did we use? We used two. Let's get one more before I get too, uh, too bold here. I want to show you... 
what we're going to do with that stuff. All right, we just need one more piece of sheet rope. Let's do it. Now, I'm making a backup rope. So here's the thing about sheet ropes is zombies can tear them down. So if you lose your sheet rope, uh, that's, that's bad news, obviously, because then you can't get back upstairs. But wait, you say. What about those stairs right there? Can't I climb those? Well, not for long. Not for long. I almost called you Jimmy. I don't know why. I wanted to say not for long, Jimmy. Uh, now, we... Oh, yes, we put these in the utility closet. We have, from the other day, picked up a sledgehammer. We picked it up on a story event. Okay, so that's a... Uh, basically, we saw some road work on the side of the road. It's a randomly generated thing, but it has a good chance to provide you with shovels and or a sledgehammer. So we have the sledgehammer equipped. Let's just show you something. Pretend that zombie's alive. Swing. Urgh, right? Super, super slow weapon. Um, lots of damage. Like, let's let's just hover over that for a moment. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Look at that. I think this is maybe the only full damage weapon in the game. So that's insane, right? When we have a character like Wilfredo here, he's stout. Um, he's he's going to be knocking some heads in. But it has huge, huge exertion requirements. Okay, you can only swing it a few times before you're absolutely exhausted. And, and that's more dangerous than a bad weapon, right? It's once you're exhausted, you can't do anything. Your attack speed is low. You can't run away. Um, you're basically screwed. So here's what we use sledgehammers for. Right click, press destroy, and uh, find something that you want to smash. All right, if it's red, it means you're going to wreck it. Let's pretend we wanted to remove this wall. Um, I think we would have to remove... Oh, no, I was going to say, I think we have to remove that portrait first, or the, the mirror first. But uh, such is not the case. All right. This is what I was thinking. Uh, we can, if we want, just destroy the window. So I'm cycling between the window and the wall here just by pressing R. If, uh, if I want, you know, I can put the sledgehammer thing on this tile. And I press R and I can destroy the curtains or I can destroy this corner of the wall. But I can't reach the window or the wall behind me. Why is that? Just so you know, before you get frustrated, it's because they're actually on the tile behind me. Okay, so things aren't always as they appear. Uh, just try the tiles around you until you get what you want. What do I want? I want these stairs. Let's get them out of here. Boom. Okay, just like that. Now, destroying something is not the same as disassembling something. You're not going to get any items out of it. Um, the only thing you get in this case is the convenience of an impenetrable fortress. Okay? Watch this. I'm up. Zombies can't reach me because zombies cl can't climb ropes. What if they destroy the rope, you say? Well, I've just removed it, says I. And now they can't destroy the rope either. When I'm ready to go back down, I just add it back. Done. Okay, a nice, uh, another nice thing if you're in a multiplayer server, if you don't want other players getting into your house, uh, just knock out the stairs, okay? Now, <laughs> don't do... Oh my god. Don't do what I was just about to do. Um, I was going to step over those stairs and just walk down them. I had already forgot... Oh my god. Did anyway, we're just going to ignore that. That's that's a future problem. Um, I was going to walk down the stairs. So if you get some carpentry, uh, you're going to want to wall off those stairs. Build a little fence or something. Um, what we'll do for now, just for safety, because I almost messed up big time there. I'm going to drive a big focus on safety today. Uh, I feel I've been getting a little reckless, a little uh, too confident, taking some fights I shouldn't take just because I don't need to take them um, the reason I say I shouldn't take them I I'm not here I'm not here to have fun right we're not here to have fun we're here to get through to winter that's kind of the end game um, at the moment is to get through winter which means you you can't make those little needless risks because one scratch you're done Dunzos, Dunsky, right so what do we do we used our furniture menu up here to pick up a table using this pickup. Pick up a table that was downstairs. Now we're going to take that same thing. We're going to furniture menu, place, and it automatically selects the first piece of furniture in our inventory. Right now that's only one piece of furniture. It's this table. And I think by putting this here, yeah, we're safe, okay? I have saved Wilfredo from myself. Um, we can't walk on that spot anymore, which means we're not tumbling down those stairs. Okay, good gerb, everybody. Good gerb. So let's, um, let's just, oh, you know what? What does this do? Red, unhappiness. But uh, I think this candy is going to give us happiness. Loads of happiness. Let's just eat these canned beans. Beans, beans. They're good for the heart. The more you eat, the more you can smash zombie heads in. Because uh, your strength is boosted. 
So, huh. Speaking of needless fights, I'm gonna leave them. I'm I'm not gonna go over there and clean that up. Um, at night, we have nothing to fear now. We've knocked out the stairs. Now, that is a cheesy solution. Uh, the sledgehammer is a super, super rare item, obviously because it's very, very good. Um, so here's what we're going to do now. We're going to pretend that we don't have that sledgehammer, that we didn't find it. We're just going to pretend that we have to do this the old-fashioned way. Um, and we are going to start boarding up this house. So before we do that, uh, I like to keep all my medical supplies in the bathroom. Um, you know what? Now that we're kind of calling this place home, we have some books we've been holding on to. I'm actually going to put those books... Uh, into the bedroom. Good place for books, why not? And uh, what we have here, you know, we don't need that anymore. Uh, we have our first aid kit. I think I will keep that on me, maybe. You know what? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in here too, but here's what I'm gonna do first. Just gonna make sure that I've got a couple bandages with me. Not one, a couple. Uh, one thing of alcohol wipes. You can see alcohol wipes, it's not a single wipe, right? They have a remaining bar. So, this is a multi-use implement. I only need one of them. I will also I'll also take the tweezers with me. You know what? No, I'm going to lose them and then I'll keep them in here. So here's what I just did. I'm going to put all this first aid kit now into there because I've got the bare necessities. The bare necessities of life and medical aid. Okay, so we've got uh, adhesive bandages. We've got alcohol wipes. That means if we get hurt, we can stop the bleeding and we can sterilize. Um, thread, you know what? Let's just put all the sewing stuff in here as well. I don't want to lose these things. Uh, you know, you get out, stuff happens, you lose track of stuff. Let's not do that. And uh, I don't plan on making any repairs, so we don't need the crowbar. Alright, one day we're hoping to find a second water bottle. Until then, we keep using this one. Um, let's do this. We saw all those zombies, so we're gonna tuck up the ropes for the night. Give, uh, give Wolfredo a little snooze here and uh, see where we are at in the morning. So we're listening. We don't hear any zombies sneaking around. I'm waiting for a good time before I wake him up again. We're in a multiplayer server. It's just me, but it's a multiplayer nonetheless. P pardon the siren there. All right, this thing about filming these lives. Uh, filming these live, sirens can happen anytime. Uh, for now, let's put down two sheet ropes in case one gets knocked down while we are away. We are looking nasty. Just nasty, Wilfredo. But you know what? Let's not schlop our mess around our home. Let's schlop it around the neighbor's place. Um, now, we did have... Uh, oh, 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 we had a plank. What did we do with that plank? Was that in here? Planky plank? I don't remember. Let's go find the plank. Um, there are some planks laying around, right? We've seen them. Uh, we've seen them up by the smashed doors. Those smash doors by the grocer. Alright, you know what? That's a single zombie. I'm I'm gonna leave it. See, that's, that's the thing. If you try to imagine this, you know, real-life scenario where there's no character to remake, there's just death and then undeath, you probably wouldn't rip around having fun smashing all these heads. You might. Like, sure, if that's what you're into, go for it. But uh, you're not gonna last a long time because you only have to mess up once to lose it all. So that's why we're going to play it pretty darn safe right now. Um, I, and part of that too, the game has multiple stages, right? We're still in the early days, we're building up a little base, we're gathering some very basic supplies. Um, but there's there's more to it than that. Uh, sure, let's get desperate. We're going to carry around a garbage bag, put some stuff into it. I'm going to set it as my active inventory there. Uh, we'll take some limes, we'll take... Uh, Rotten strawberries, no thank you. Pear and banana, you know what? They're not rotten, but they're not fresh, right? You want to see that fresh thing, otherwise it's going to cause a little unhappiness. You're just eating a sad banana. Nobody wants a sad banana. Uh, this stuff's all cold. We'll take all that. Again, we're using this bag because um, it is an inventory container that you can carry. It has capacity. You see there? Capacity... Capacity 20! Oh, sorry, yeah, no, capacity 20, so it holds up to 20 units of stuff, uh, but weight reduction, weight reduction 10, that's the one that we're looking at, uh, that's why we want to carry it, because it makes things weigh 10% less. So ideally, we would have a backpack or something uh, much more useful in terms of having a higher weight reduction, but, uh, you know, until then, we got this, and that's all we got, so 
Well, let's use it. Let's, I guess, just take everything. I wasn't really planning on that. I actually remembered this, uh, this story wrong, I guess. I thought that there was a plank smashed in that door. But maybe we already took it. You know, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's at home waiting for us. Can of oats! My favorite. Uh, I'm not taking bread, I'm not taking yeast. Uh, we can do more of that kind of baking stuff at a later time. Cereal, I'm just taking the basics now because honestly, if you're just starting this game, you know, you're just getting into it, your first priority is probably not, how do I bake cookies? Although I appreciate that this game allows for that. If you are a person who gets into this game and there's zombies smashing on your window, you know, your friends are dying all around you and all you've got is like a, a rolling pin. If your priority is, but how do I make cookies? Like, good on you. Alright, we're just gonna run it. We're gonna run it. Uh, we're gonna run it because we're just doing a simple drop off here. And I've got to check the house for some more supplies. Um, we'll see, let's see. I got some choices right now, right? I can put these supplies downstairs where there's a proper kitchen. Uh, but you know what? Now that we've already got that super lucky sledgehammer spawn, we're gonna use it. We're just gonna put everything upstairs. So again, I probably want to just pick one place for all of your, uh, loot. You don't want to be looking around. That's how you lose things, like me. Don't remember where I put the, um... Don't remember where I put the planks, so... Uh, we got a sink in here. Let's call that the medical sink. This will be the kitchen sink. So I'm going to uh, click this, hold shift, and click the last one. That selects all these things. And I'm just going to drag them into the other drawer, the other drawer's icon. And now uh, let's just do this. I'm going to hit uh, the garbage bag, make that my active inventory. I'm going to make sure I'm on the container I want. And I'm going to hit uh, transfer all. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Saves me a lot of clicking. It's done. Okay, I'm also going to see, yeah, I had some things that I just picked up to my regular inventory like a fool. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll just do the same as before. Click the top one. Uh, let's let's actually check something here. Uh, let's pretend that my things weren't sorted. Remember, I can hit category to just sort by category here. So I'm going to take all of my food. Look at the first one. Look at the last one. I'm not even going to read it. I'm just going to put it in there. Now, what did I do, what did I do wrong? Because I did something wrong, right? I'm going to I'm going to call it intentional and whether it was or not shall be a mystery. But uh, what did I do wrong here? So you got to see some of these things say fresh on them. If you really want those things to last, you can't just stick them in your bathroom cupboard. Okay, you've got to put them in the fridge. Okay, did you hear that? There is some snarling and growling. It sounds, it sounds pretty close. But again, I'm hoping they're on the other side of that fence. And we're not making any unnecessarily loud noises or stuff like that, so hopefully they have no reason to come over to us. Oh my god, what? There's a, there's a plank here the whole time, guys. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sure you did, I just didn't hear it. It's all good, I forgive you. I never forgive myself. Alright, that's in the fridge. Let's take this plank, let's make it work. Um, you can't do a lot with one plank. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by, I think I told you once, I don't like this room. I feel like it's going to collect a zombie and then I'm going to be running from someone inside, open the door to escape, and bam, there's going to be a zombie there. So just to make sure that I don't use it, um, I am going to barricade this door. So what do I need? I need nails, check. I need a hammer, check. And I need a plank. Now, right now I can't see it. What did I do with it? Did I... Where's that plank? kidding me right now? I just had it, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I had put it into my bag, and then what did I do? I, for a moment there, you might have seen it, I took out my crowbar, like that. Bam, but where'd the bag go? Crowbar is a two-handed weapon. You can equip it primary if you want. Oh, that's a garbage bag. Um, you can equip a crowbar as a single-handed primary weapon as you, if you want. It's just going to do less damage, but the advantage is you can carry a bag in your, your other hand. So, in any case, now that the bag is there, that plank should be available to us. But it's not... It's not giving us the barricade option? Okay. Am I remembering this wrong? Let's find out. So we'll move the plank to our main inventory, where we have nails, yes, hammer, yes, plank, yes. But no barricade option. All right, my understanding is that there's a property on every hammer, including the club hammer, 
It's a Boolean value for those of you who are interested. And it's a true false and it's called can barricade. I think that's what it's called. And I'm pretty sure that the wiki tells us the club hammer can barricade. But there seems to be some sort of problem. So what did I do? I took out the club hammer. Maybe it's not equipping it automatically? No. Nail some plank, nail some plank, nothing is happening. Okay. So I'm gonna just try this. You know what? One second. Okay, through the powers of admin magic, here's what I did. I, I cheated. I flat out cheated. I'm not gonna do it often, but to illustrate a point, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna equip this hammer as my primary weapon. And now, barricade. There it is. So I don't know if that's intentional. This is a bug, but the club hammer cannot barricade. Ridiculous. All right, so uh, now we, this is what we should have. We should have a plank, nails, and a hammer. I guess a proper hammer. Uh, and we can barricade. So we can right-click, barricade the door, right-click, barricade the window, whatever we want. I'm just going to do something to show you. I'm going to take these nails, put them in a bag, plank, put it in the bag. I'm even going to take my hammer, whoop, put it in the bag, right-click. I can still barricade, okay? Because all these things are in my... Uh, it, they're in my inventory. It's not my main inventory, but they're there. So the game will search for your other inventories. Let's try this though. Again, I take my crowbar. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I can still barricade. I actually didn't think this would happen. So even if my secondary bag is not available, it's going to let me barricade. Fantastic. Let's do it. Let's see what it does. So there's progress bars and nothing's happening, right? That is the character going through the necessary steps to equip those... Here we have the, the hammer and the plank, uh, and get those all into the inventory they need to be in. So now there's only nails in there. Of course, the plank is on the door, and the hammer, well, bam, is in our hand. So don't forget that if you're doing a bunch of carpentry and then zombies come, don't forget that you now have a hammer equipped. All right? So, you know what? I, we're actually going to call it quits right there. Uh, this video got kind of long, and I want to make sure that they're all less than 25 minutes for you. Uh, so if you want, keep watching. Hit subscribe. Next video is soon to follow. Hit like if you knew, uh, learned something new today with Wilfredo. And I would love to hear from you in the comments. If there's something that you'd like more information on that we looked at today, if there's something we didn't look at that you'd like some info on, uh, just let me know in the comments. We'll follow up. As always, thanks for being here, and I hope to see you in the next video.